We're at Fuse 2025 in Dublin. I'm here with John Bretherick. He's Head of Business Development for Europe at Onefinity. So uh, John, tell us about Onefinity. It's a name that maybe not everybody will be familiar with it yet. Uh, it launched operations just earlier this year, didn't it? It did, yes. So 1st of July, we, we became Onefinity. Uh, nothing's changed. We're still part of the Fujitsu group. So what we did is Fujitsu Network Communications uh, became Onefinity. What we've done is taken all of the network divisions, part of the Fujitsu group, under one umbrella. So we're still uh, providing a full range of optical and wireless hardware solutions, software and services for our customers. It gives us, I think, the, be the best of both worlds. We've got uh, the heritage and the, the decades of experience of, of Fujitsu as our group um, company, but now also a bit more the, the agility and the flexible flexibility to actually look at our own future from uh, advanced technologies and an R&D perspective. Now, you mentioned uh, wireless there, and uh, if we move on now to uh, Open RAN, one of the areas where Onefinity is a player, uh, there are still naysayers out there who say that Open RAN is not suitable for mobile network operators, that it won't succeed, but uh, Onefinity has been uh, at the heart of Open RAN development since the beginning. Um, how are you seeing the Open RAN market play out currently? Yes, it, it's, I think it's fair to say the, the, the telecoms market has had a history of, of challenges in, in adopting new technology. And, and we've seen that, that you know, new technology hasn't um, been adopted in the timeframes that's been predicted. Um, what we now see is very much a, a steady growth uh, in Open RAM. Um, here at Fuse, we have our uh, a small cell on display, which is the, the small cell that we've just done the first live calls uh, with Ericsson on AT&T's uh, live network. Um, so we're now starting to see uh, Open RAM uh, deployed in brownfield networks as well as, as, well as greenfield. Um, we've also uh, recently announced or been announced with, with Vodafone uh, in Europe. So we're now starting to uh, look at radios for, op for Vodafone's uh, open RAM deployment. So now starting to see more of the, uh, the large mobile network operators um, embrace open RAM. Okay, excellent. Yes, and we're certainly hearing a lot about that here at Fuse. So it's certainly not going away and in fact uh, growing it would seem. Um, you also mentioned uh, optical um, and, you know, with networking currently now seeing a, a surge in IP over DWDM, um, how can that multi-vendor end-to-end service best be managed? It's a very good question. We're, we're now seeing a, you know, a, a large take-up with the, the customers that we're talking to of IP over DWDM. It's demonstrating in a, a multi-vendor environment with, with different ven router vendors, different optical line system vendors, that you do need that true openness uh, and interoperability. Um, we have, as, as part of our solution set, uh, a new optical, a pluggable optic called the P300, which is our new 800 gig um, uh, pluggable optic that we've uh, demonstrated interoperability with, and also, we're now seeing that um, you do need a, a really good understanding of the management and orchestration of solutions. And that's where um, open networking will, will come to the fore and we'll actually start to see full end-to-end -end manageability of solutions for IP over DWGM. Now, some of that surge, I'm sure, is related to the growth and expected future growth of traffic initiated by AI workloads. And obviously AI is getting a lot of attention right now. How is AI manifesting itself in the Onefinity AI RAN portfolio? Yes, we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of interest in, uh, in AI RAN. Um, we're having numerous conversations from um, our roots in, uh, in Japan. Um, with now a number of a number of customers in both in America and in Europe around AI run trials and AI run pilots, very much we see that there is a uh, initial interest from operators in in AI um, for the run in how that they can improve energy efficiencies 
uh, of the network and look to optimize uh, the network. But more, we're now seeing the requirements for, for, for AI on RAN and right. actually enabling RAN to be delivered on an AI platform. And one of the key aspects that we're seeing now is the, the potential and the growth with enterprise solutions, which sort of leans itself uh, more for the network operators to, to be able to have a, a minimal um, investment where they can actually see the, the revenue gains or the business cases that are a little bit easier to, to, to see versus a, you know, large scale AI RAN uh, deployments. So that's what we're seeing now, we're very much working with, with a number um, to actually then prove those business cases and those applications. Okay, well, there's no doubt that AI RAN is, uh, is a talking point uh, in the industry and uh, it's certainly not going to go away in the years to come. And neither, of course, is, is Open RAN, of course. So, uh, John, great to talk to you today. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much.